Yo, 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 yo. Man, what's going down? How everybody doing? What's going on in y'all world? <laughs> I'm back. Like Steph Curry, I'm back. <laughs> Broadcasting from all new platforms. This is my first ever broadcast from my uh, Facebook page and um, using my, my my MacBook as a, as a platform right now. So definitely this is something new and I'm excited for, um, you know, what what the new deal going to be coming up in 2017. You know what I'm saying? 2017 is definitely going to be a big year for a lot of people. And I'm really grateful that um, we all made it to see this far uh, because surely as many people in your life and in my life who I know um, did not make it, you know, maybe it was two two weeks ago or three months ago, they did not make it. They did not make it in, um, to be able to see this far and to even see 2017 so cheers <laughs> to a whole new to a whole new opportunity to still reach another year because this week is not over yet we got one more week y'all which means that we gotta close the deal on a lot of things that we are still looking to do so that we can start fresh 2017 with a whole new focus make sense but uh 2017 for, or 2016 Man, it's been a really big year for me. You know what I'm saying? It's been a, a tremendous year for me. Um, it's uh, definitely different, you know, to know that um, I actually uh, accomplished some things. You know what I'm saying? I accomplished a lot of things this year. and um, I'm really happy that God's been able to, to manifest himself to me in ways that I never probably would have imagined. Uh, I can go down a list, you know, 2016 was the year that I got a car, you know, every single year since the time I had, every single year since the time that I had, um, my dream of getting a vehicle, which is when I got my license, I, I mean, I don't know, I've always like came real close, came really close to getting my vehicle, but then Something always happened, something always came up, and yeah, couldn't get it. But God blessed me this year to be able to get a vehicle. And let me tell you, that's probably one of the bigger blessings that the Lord has ever given me. Because like I'm surely, I'm truly humbled by the fact that God would give me a car. Not that I had to save up and buy it or anything like that. Like God gave it to me. A little ninety eight Honda Accord. You know what I'm saying? Something real something real minute, something real small to other people, you know, can be big to some other people, you know? So for me, it was just kind of, wow, like, you know, like, this, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, you actually did that. You you did that for me. And um, God's been giving me the finances to be able to keep it up. You know, God's been still working on me and my finances. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of things that as a, as a new driver, as a, as a new person in the, in the world of driving, um, it it's definitely a blessing. Surely is a blessing. Um, 2016, still haven't gotten a girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still haven't gotten a girlfriend. So, I mean, like, still single, ready to mingle, and got Pringles. You know what I'm saying? So, um, definitely it's a, it's a lot coming in 2017 that I can't wait, you know, just to see what God's going to do. But 2016, man, has it been a year for you guys? Has it been a great year for y'all? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, come on now. This has got to be a good year for y'all. Like, such a good year to the point that compared to others, your year is a great year. 2016 was a good year for a lot of people, and uh, I just I'm just hoping that um, as we look back, that we really don't have any regrets. You know, like regrets definitely is isn't isn't good. It's not fun. It's not cool. And regrets come when you know you did something that you shouldn't have done, or or shouldn't have or or didn't do something that you know you should have done, and um, you know, I just want to say um, cheers to all the people that's actually been doing that thing. You know what I'm saying? Because definitely, definitely, definitely. Like, 
it is it's really hard. It is really hard. It is really hard for us to remain focused with all the things that we have to do every day, whether that be working. Some of us got kids, you know, some of us in school, some of us got businesses. And, you know, for us to to actually, like, be able to accomplish certain things despite of our workloads every single day, yeah, we all deserve a round of applause. You know what I'm saying? We all can cheers to that. <laughs> uh, but before I get started, um, you know, I got some people texting me right now. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. But um, I think one of the things that I really want to touch on um, is really what is our goals for 2017? Okay, like what is our goals for 2017? So hang on, while you guys think about that, I want you guys to, to really think about that. Like what is my goal for 2017? Hang on. Like what, like what do I hope to accomplish in 2017? Like what is my dreams? You know, what are, what are those things that, I've always wanted to do this year that I didn't do this year that I want to do next year. And, uh, it's nothing wrong with, um, being upset, you know, at the fact that you didn't get it done. You're just mad because you know, you didn't get it done. So, um, all I want to do is accomplish what I didn't accomplish um, next year that I didn't do this year. So, um, I got some, I got a couple of things that I know that we could accomplish. Um, I'm actually in the process of make, going, making my other phone go live so that, you know, people can, can watch so that people can see, um, give me one second, go for 2017. It's going to be a huge year. I hope y'all listening. It's going to be a huge year for year for all of us. Boom. So now, for all of y'all that don't believe me, you can you may as well hop off right now if you don't believe me. But if you do believe me, oh yeah. Then it's it's about that time. It's about that time that we release something because I feel the fire. I feel the burn. I feel the energy. You know, I know for a fact that, you know, we all got dreams, we all got visions, you know, we all got goals and we all want to accomplish, you know, certain things. You know what I'm saying? And when we accomplishing certain things, um, it's really all in an attempt uh to get better, to get greater. Um, I think every single last one of us wanted to get better, wanted to get greater. You know what I'm saying? Like, every last one of us wanted to get better at something. So, 2017 is going to be a big year for a lot of us. 2017 is going to be an awesome year um, because there's so much to accomplish. There's so much to do. Um, One of my biggest things that I want everybody listening right now and who's listening on this podcast, on this radio show, to understand is that when you write down your goals and when you write down your dreams and when you write down um, what you want to do and then write a plan to go with it, I promise you, you'll be much more focused. I promise you, you'll be much more focused if you write down what you want to accomplish and do. It don't even have to be eight months out, okay? You can just do it I don't know, Um, three weeks in, four weeks in, you can write down what you want to accomplish. Um, That's one of my dreams. One of my dreams is um, to accomplish what I have written on my vision board, what I have written on this little piece of paper that I be looking at every single day on my wall. I want to accomplish that thing. You know, send me on TV. That's what I want to accomplish. So, Simeon TV is more than just a brand. You know, Simeon TV is is more than just me just, I don't know, 
making a nickname for myself. It's, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. Um, what is that thing that you want to accomplish that's bigger and larger than life itself? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? Like, what is it? Like, are you afraid of what you want to accomplish? Are you afraid of success? Are you afraid of failure? Are you afraid that maybe 2016 is going to be the same as 2017 and that you're looking at it as just another year? This is not the time to fret. This is not the time to have fear. This is not the time to doubt yourself. When you doubt yourself, you make room for the devil. When you doubt yourself, you make room for the devil. So many of us have made so much room for the devil. Like, I mean, we good at making room for the devil. Look, we, we me and the, y'all make it seem like you and the devil is is, is best friends. When y'all really not. <laughs> all he wants to do is steal, kill, and destroy. That's all he wants to do. Steal, kill, and destroy your dreams. Steal, kill, and destroy your purpose. Steal, kill, and destroy your relationships. Steal, kill, and destroy everything that you want to do um, with with financial success, with just um, emotional e- emotional awareness, social awareness, emotional, um, mental awareness. I mean, everything the devil wants to try to do to try to steal all of that. Now, you have a choice, though. You have a choice how long you're going to let him do that for. Some of us, we need to look at this year alone and say, you know what, devil? I'm done. Enough with you trying to steal everything. I'm not going to keep letting you destroy my life. Because there's so much that I know I have to offer to this world that for some reason, I'm not accomplishing it. I'm not getting it done. Now, God has a plan for every single person listening right now because uh, we all living right now for a purpose. If God didn't have no purpose for you, you wouldn't even be alive right now. You know, that's that's the realest thing I could ever tell you. <laughs> if God didn't have no purpose for you, you would not be alive right now. Um, so, you got to light a fire up under you. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of kind of um, get some enthusiasm. You know, get some energy built up in you. You know what I'm saying? Allow allow your life to um, become great by thinking great. By thinking thoughts that align with what you want to be in life. I mean, if you want to be a millionaire, stop thinking broke. If you want to accomplish a lot of money in your life and make some money so you can feed your kids and your family and stuff like that, you got to start thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to believe it. Um, I remember in school, um, they always talked about, you know, um, b- um, what they say, believe and achieve, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Believe and achieve. And I, I always look at that walking in the hallways, you know what I'm saying? And some little white girl with a, with a diploma on her head. Um, and, um, I was in eighth grade and I was just like, like, really? Like, man, nobody want to be like that's so lame, you know what I'm saying? But when I, as you get older and you start to realize that a lot of success starts in here, period, like a lot of success starts in the mind, in the head. And if you don't put your mind in the correct thinking to align with your heart, nothing going to happen. You'll be conflicted. If your heart believes you can be successful, but in your mind you doubt it, you're not gonna move nowhere in life. It's it's like a it's like a chain reaction. It's like a I don't know. It's like a friction. You know, one hand going this way, one the other hand going this way, and yeah, you know, it's it's um not a good look for your future if if you're constantly within that inner battle, you know, of yourself. Um, so when you are goal setting and writing down things that you want to accomplish in the new year, I mean, we're not talking about this whole new year, new me thing. We're, we're talking about new year, new goals, right? Because you set goals at the beginning of last year, right? <laughs> of this year, the beginning of this year. So now that either you got those accomplished or now that you didn't get those accomplished, um, 
you still have an opportunity to set whole new goals. You know, you can hit the reset button, boom. And now you're able to um, see how your life can be when you set goals and get things planning for yourself because we all have a plan in the future and a destination. You know, um, see, success is a journey. It's not a destination. So when you allow yourself to get in um, the attitude of success, the mode of success, you're going to start really experiencing the journey that comes along with it. You know, it's going to be hard. It's going to be rough. It's going to be lots of things that's going to confuse you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be some things that's going to make you think like, man, like, is this even for me? Like, should I just quit right now? And in those moments is when you test your strength. Um, it's real easy to say, I try and quit than to keep trying and keep failing, failing. You know what I'm saying? It's real easy to do that. But I'm here to let y'all know that if you follow me as I follow Christ, you're going to notice that a lot of people who are determined and have the right mindset will actually become great. You can become great. All y'all listening right now can become great. Whether you're listening on Twitter whether you're listening on Periscope, whether you're listening on whatever I'm live on right now, you can be great. And my dream is to have my own show one day. My dream is to have my own syndicated radio show one day. My dream is to be on magazines, catalogs. My dreams is to own my own network one day. My dreams is to be a... a, <laughs> um, a a youth connoisseur, you know, and and um, being a blessing to um, youth all around the world. Um, you know, my 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 dream is to have so much money that I'm that I'm just giving money to different orgs that helps the poor, the needy. You know, like all I want to do is promote God, and through those things because those are passions that's in my heart. I believe that I can do it, and I can believe it, and because I believe it, I believe I can achieve it. So, yes, I got my flaws. Yes, I mess up and make stupid mistakes with money and stuff like that, and I'd rather make my mistakes now than when I'm really in something, right? <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm falling off, and then I fall from grace. There's a plan for each and every one of y'all that's listening right now. And if you just get with God, I promise you, you're going to figure it out. I'm sick of everybody talking about this year and how it sucked. It sucked because you let it suck. You know what I'm saying? It sucks because you allowed it to suck. You made it. You made it weak. This year has been a great year for me. I've accomplished so much things this year that I didn't even post on Facebook. Normally, I post everything on Facebook. <laughs> But I can tell that I just had a different approach this year. I said, you know what? I'm sick of trying to promote myself to make myself look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let people find out about my success. I'm not even going to try to tell everybody what I accomplished. You know, because then that's how you create people that's jealous. You create people um, that that do stupid things like try to give you a bad name and talk behind your back and stuff like that. I mean... If they, if you don't give them nothing to talk about, they're not going to talk about you. <laughs> it's that plain and simple. But I can tell you right now, 2017, man, I'm promoting my God all day. I'm talking about, like, whatever he accomplishes through my life, I'm posting it. <laughs> I mean, because one thing God can work with is when you have a plan. If you ain't got no plan for your life, if you ain't got nothing written down already, he can't, he can't work with you. You see what I'm saying? Like, even though his plans won't fail for your life, it just will help you with your faith if you have something written down for him to work with. That's almost like saying, I want to be a millionaire, but then you ain't got no money saved up to invest. How can God make you a millionaire if you ain't got no money to invest? You see what I'm saying? So it's like you want to give him something. You want to invest with something, and he'll give you a return just for your efforts. You know, it's called sowing and reaping. So, um, 2017 is going to be a good year for you if you want it to be. You know what I'm saying? Some of us, we probably going to lose our jobs in 2017. Okay, then what? 
Some of us, our car gonna break down. Then what? You know what I'm saying? Some of us, some you know, somebody gonna break in our house. You know, just life happens to people. You see what I'm saying? Life happens. You know, you can't you can't help what life what life do. Um, but at the same time, you can help how you react to it. You see what I'm saying? Your reaction is what matters more than what happened. You know what I'm saying? So I promise you, look, everybody listening right now. I'm not on this thing to try to preach to y'all. Everybody listening right now, I ain't on here trying to preach to (laughs) y'all. But what I want to do and what I hope to do is to motivate you guys to look past what y'all living right now and to think further and beyond your, your, your current place right now. Because in 2017, I promise you, if you get your mind right if you get your mind set on the right things dude i guarantee you you are going to hit some benchmarks that you ain't never seen in your life it's all about just knowing what to put your hope in what to put your trust in you see what i'm saying you can't if you know for a fact that all this year you put trust in your job you put trust in your spouse you put trust in your girl or boyfriend you you put trust in in, in, um and money you put trust in and just chances and, and luck, like, then you, you really technically trusting in your own abilities then. But I'm, I guarantee you that if you put your hope in God, if you put your trust in God, God will get you to your place of, of destiny. It's, it may be a long journey, but through that journey, you're going to learn patience. You're going to learn character. You're going to learn integrity. You know what I'm saying? Because success will get you there, but your character will keep you there. Let me say that again. Success will get you there, but your character will keep you there. So you see all these celebrities and stuff that's real successful, but they lack character. Soon enough, they're going to fall off the map. You see what's happening to some of these celebrities now. They're just losing it. You know what I'm saying? So you have to you have to look at your life right now and say in 50 years or in 20 years, will the 20, year, will the 20 years from now me be happy with the me at this age right now? So me, I'm 25. So at, or I'm, at, I'm 25. So I'm going to say 50, right? So would the 50-year-old Simeon be happy with the decisions that the 25-year-old Simeon is making right now? And honestly, I'm going to say no, because I'm far from perfect. I'm far from achieving the goal that I want to accomplish. I feel like I really slacked off this year. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me putting me on front street. So... With that being said, I'm just like y'all in the same boat, trying to get better, trying to get higher. But I'm chasing God. I'm not chasing things. I'm not chasing fame. I'm not chasing um, women. I'm not chasing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not chasing things that can come and go. You see what I'm saying? But God is going to be with you forever. So what are you looking at? What are you chasing? What is your? What drives you? to do with all that you do what drives you to work two three four jobs what's driving you and if it's not god then because i guarantee you god not gonna have you work no two three four jobs if it if it means you trying to provide for yourself if it's all because of that then you're basically saying god you can't provide for me i gotta do this all on my own you never know god can turn your two jobs and give you a job that's both them jobs paying combined but if you don't believe that then Hey, go ahead and work your three, four jobs then. You know what I'm saying? Um, So I don't know how I got off on that, y'all. But um, I'm podcasting live. Uh, so y'all could probably see the link on my Facebook page, Spreaker.com uh, slash Simeon TV. You can follow me. Um, and it's been a while since I've been on air. So I'm looking to build some more, to build some more consistency, especially throughout this week. Um, because, um, what I want to do is, um, is really build a platform and a show that can engage you guys and get you guys thinking, especially about your future and your purpose. I mean, I can minister, I can teach about many things, but 
one of my niches is dreams, goals, and visions. That's that's my niche right there. That's what I feel like everybody can relate on. You know what I'm saying? You may not classify yourself as a God-fearing person, but you can classify yourself as a person who wants to get better in life. I classify myself as that person too. So I'm just using what I know to help you in what you already know, if that makes sense. Um, so like I said, I'm not coming off as some some um, holier than thou type of dude, but I just need you guys to know that the holy one who lives upstairs is living in me to help y'all get to where y'all need to go. You see what I'm saying? So I need every last one of y'all and y'all support as I'm continuing to strive for my dreams. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely want to give y'all some nuggets so, so, so that you guys can move forward and what you guys desire to do. Um, so to move around to the next segment of this show, um, I really want to touch on what it means to not be distracted. I feel like being distracted is being, you know, the devil can't destroy you. He will distract you. Once again, if the devil cannot destroy you, he will distract you. So there's so many things that distracted whether it be social media whether it be girls boys whether it be our jobs whether it be um tv um you name it whatever it is it distracts us be honest and i think right now god is going to start to refocus you and i um so that we can actually see the bigger picture because if he can distract us on our situations, if he can distract us on what it is that ticks us off, that makes us mad, that makes us sad, if he can get our focus to, to and, and be distracted on those things, then he can get you off and get you your purpose derailed and delayed. You see what I'm saying? Like when you think of a when you think of a, a, a airplane and 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 it's a massive snowstorm, what they're gonna do? What they gonna what they gonna do? They are gonna delay the flight. You see what I'm saying? So it's the snowstorm could be anything and everything that's causing you to lose your joy. And we looking at that, we magnifying that. You see what I'm saying? We we magnifying that thing. We're allowing it to get us off track, to get us off course. You can't do that. You can't allow yourself to be thrown off by what the enemy is going to throw at you. You know, you have to kind of duck and dodge. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Be like be like Floyd Mayweather in the ring. You know, you got to huh, 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 duck and dodge. You know, you got to, you know, spin around. You got to, you know, uh, cover your eyes a little bit. You got to make sure that you that you swerve to the left, swerve to the right. You see what I'm saying? Like You, you can't allow yourself to get um, so caught up with what's being thrown at you, all the punches being thrown at you. You can't look at that. You got to allow yourself to see still see the end goal despite of so that's what we have to do um to not be distracted you know we were all born with a magnifying glass in our hand and we have one or two choices either magnify what's going wrong or magnify what's going good that's it that's it either magnify what's going good in your life or magnify what's going bad in your life that's it we were all born with a microphone, or should I say a, a microscope in our hand, magnifying glass in our hand. All I'm asking y'all to do is to use that thing to magnify God. Because whatever you put that magnifying glass on, it gets bigger. And the closer you put the magnifying glass on, it gets bigger. It gets bigger. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. To the point that now that's all you see is what you magnify. You see what I'm saying? But... If you take that magnifying glass off and put it on God, and the closer you put the magnifying glass to God, he gets bigger, he gets bigger, he gets bigger. You know, you want God to be bigger than your circumstances and how you look at things. And when you do that, you won't be distracted. You won't be distracted. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my biggest thing. I'm easily distracted. I'm so distracted. And honestly, like whenever I see a, a good looking girl, I'm not even gonna lie. 
I'll be distracted. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, in my head, I'll be like, God, why do you make women so beautiful? You know what I'm saying? And it threw me off. I remember one time I was driving. Now, this is a real story. I was driving. And, you know, I'm coming down Burleigh. And uh, this is right before, right before fall. Just got my car, everything. So I'm driving, you know what I'm saying, riding, bumping. And I see this nice-looking young lady. I'm not going to describe her because I don't want to plant any, any seeds in y'all minds. But let's just say she was nice-looking. And I literally was looking at her so long that I started noticing my car was moving with my eyes. And I had a quick look, and I had to yank myself back into position so that I could, so I could stay within the lines. And I almost actually hit a car who was on the side of me or who was coming up. So, like, distraction can derail you. And when you get derailed, you see what I'm saying? You, you actually can cause a lot of damage. So, I need to personally not be so distracted by what's going on around me and keep a, keep a, a, a rhino vision. You know, keep a rhino vision. Um, because rhinos, rhinos don't have peripheral visions. Rhinos don't have peripheral vision. So all they can see is straight. That's it. All rhinos can see is straight. So you and I, listening right now, need to have rhino vision. When you have rhino vision, oh yeah, everything, everything becomes way, way, way clearer. And it just, it, to me, it just, it's just realer. It's, it's more real. When you know that not everything you're doing is going to cause hell, but um, it can make hell. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to cause hell, but it can make hell. So you just focus. Allow God to just show you what he needs you to focus on. Everything else will become so minute. Everything else will just be stupid to focus on. You'll just be more and more focused. And yeah, just just know that God's, God's getting ready to refocus you and I to be able to do what it is that we need to do in this earth because this this earth is for us. We have to dominate it. We have to dominate it. <sighs> All right, so I wasn't going to stay out here long, but for y'all viewing right now, I just want you guys to take these things away. One, make a plan. For 2017, make a plan. Write it down. What do you hope to accomplish? What do you hope for your kids to accomplish? What do you hope for your family to accomplish? Okay. Um, number two, um, with that with that goal, make a plan because dreams are fueled by goals. Okay. So, or should I say, goals are fueled by dreams. Either way, it go. You want to have goals set out and made benchmarks you see what i'm saying like by may i want i want to have four thousand dollars saved up by may that's my goal have four thousand dollars saved up by may now could that happen it could you know what i'm saying but i have to make sure that i'm following the plan so that means i need to budget i mean i may need to cut some things out maybe i need to cut some put some things in so what is your goal? Okay. Have some benchmarks. Have some benchmarks that you know that you can accomplish. You know, yes, you want to have faith. You know what I'm saying? You want to have tremendous faith. You want to have enough faith to where that you believe what you even saying. <laughs> you got some people who don't have faith so that they don't believe even their own words. So have, having some benchmarks, some practical benchmarks that is achievable, right? That is achievable. You don't want to make out goals that ain't achievable. You see what I'm saying? You can't say I want to be a millionaire by 32 and you 31. And you ain't got no money in your bank account. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you want you want to be able to say, hey, I want to, I want to have at least a thousand dollars saved up uh two months from now. A thousand dollars saved up. So you already know that. A certain percentage out of your check is going to go to that goal, which means that you can't go out and spend that money. You can't touch it. You know, like run DMC. 
can't touch this. Um, and what I hope to do, um, not only just for finances, but even just for my my own relationship with God. Like, I, there's there's some there's some things that I want to accomplish, even with my relationship with God. You know, I want to be able to tap into the supernatural more. I want to be able to see God in ways that I've never been able to see God before. Um, and this year, I feel like I, I slacked on that. I really do. I, I believe that I didn't I didn't hit my benchmark this year with my relationship with God. And it is where it is right now. And I went through a lot of trials and tribulations this year that I could have easily avoided had I had that had I had that um, relationship with God. And if I was hearing His voice, but um, by the grace of God, those those mistakes didn't um, come back to bite me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they bit me the first time, but they didn't come back to bite me. So that's the best part. Um. You know, and just being more open more, I think, is a, is a, is a personal goal for me this year uh, or next year, 2017. Just to be more open, to be more vulnerable, just to be um, not so standoffish, um, you know, because even though um, I have a warm embrace and, you know, I got a lot of things that I hope that people really loved about me um, um, cultivated this year, but I still want to cultivate even more those those attributes and traits about myself um and just definitely being more giving you know what i'm saying being more giving being more receptive of other people um because definitely i could be on the on the path to success <laughs> um you know you can't let everybody into your circle um and i'm really i'm really guarded you know i can tell like my, my heart is very guarded it's very shelled you know what i'm saying like i have a, definitely have a shell heart and um, I'm trying to let people crack into it. It, it just gets, it, it's hard. You know, it gets a little, I get a little weary, you know, I get a little nervous when, when I sense that shell starting to crack. So, um, I think just being more, um, easy going as well, um, is, is another goal for me for 2017. Um, and I hope that you, as I'm talking, as I'm th- as I'm listing off some things that I know I can do, I hope that you guys are, um, uh, planning, um, what you can do in 2017 planning what what it is that you desire to accomplish within your inner self we're not even talking about tangible things like money cars whatever i'm talking about your inner self like what do you hope to um what do you hope to allow to happen within you to become a better person you know what i'm saying like just this year alone i've been um able to uh, contribute uh, a certain percentage of my finances to the Boys and Girls Club and the United Way. Um, and also, uh, I sponsored a child in Africa um, this this year, too. And I'm a, by the grace of God, I hope to continue that because um, I definitely do believe in efforts that, that, that um, caused me to um, sponsor that child. I definitely believe in the effort of that organization. And I want to be able to contribute more on larger scales to not only other countries like Africa and, and other um, developing nations, but I mean, even in investing here in home, not, not just in Milwaukee, but in every other, uh, you know, city or state uh, that that's dealing with oppression. Um, I want to be able to contribute to causes to help relieve people and efforts, um, uh, such as the one like sponsoring a child, you know. Um, so allowing my finances to be a blessing, you know. I definitely want to donate to Israel a lot more. Um, I want to definitely uh, donate more than what I've been donating over there. And I feel like if God's going to use me, I want Him to use my money as well. I don't want Him just to use my voice. I want Him to use my finances. So not only those are my inner goals, y'all. Those are kind of my outside goals as well. And just allowing me to to dream big, um, bigger than I ever thought. Um, some of us we get caught up with our degrees, we get caught up with um, social standards that we don't even imagine anymore. Like the imagination is the good part to a successful person because it takes the it takes a strong imagination to imagine the stoplight, a strong imagination to imagine. Um, the first clock, the first radio, the first TV, the first uh, space shuttle, airplane, you know what I'm saying? All these things that are innovative today that we, personally, I would never think of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it already came out, 
You see? So imagine something imagine something in this world that has never been accomplished that only you can accomplish. What is that? You see what I'm saying? What is that? What can your mind honestly come up with when you're alone, spending time with yourself, and you're just thinking and dreaming and writing those things down? Like, what is it that you feel like you can accomplish with what you have? If all you have is your imagination, that's a good start. Some of us, we don't need to have the money. We don't need to have all that right now. We just got to have the dream and we just have to have the imagination. And if you can get that thing to stir and spin and just formulate and mix, chulate, <laughs> then I promise you, man, you're going to be, you're going to end up, you're going to end up cooking something that this world ain't never seen. And then you got to protect that dream. You can't let everybody into your world. You can't let everybody see your dream. You know what I'm saying? I gave y'all a big old list of dreams early in the show that I feel like I will accomplish in due season. But right now, my biggest accomplishment that I will ever have within my 20s is going to be this degree. As soon as I graduate college, that's going to be the number one thing that I can honestly say is what is, it probably might even bring me to tears. Just me getting that thing. Like if I can just get my hands on that, you know. Then I know for a fact that I can I can persevere through anything and accomplish my goal all at the same time. What is your benchmark? What is that end goal for you? What is that one thing that you desire so bad? You desire it so bad. What is it? And I promise you, you're going to get it. It's your boy, Simeon on TV, and I'm signing out. Um, remember, uh, if you like this, share this. Very long show, so it definitely is worth skipping. You can skip this show, and you can skip the certain parts of this show. Um, but I just want to just let you guys know that Jesus loved y'all so much. God suffered on the cross through his son Jesus just so you can experience your purpose and know him personally. So don't leave this planet. Don't, don't walk into 2017 without knowing God. You know what I'm saying? I promise you, if you have a fresh start with God going into 2017, your life is going to be so much more gravy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like think about it. Mashed potatoes is good, but gravy on the top of that thing is like cherry on a sundae. You know what I'm saying? Putting God in your life will top off everything you ever want to accomplish in your life. And I promise you, you're going to become so much more joyful. On, with the fact that not only is it just not only is it not you that's accomplishing your feats but you got god on your side and nothing's bigger than that so love you guys follow me on all social media send me on tv and uh connect with me and uh love love